Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The Emancipation Memorial is located in Lincoln Park in Capitol Hill neighborhood of Washington, D.C. Designed and sculptured by Thomas Ball, the memorial was erected in 1876 and was paid for solely by freed slaves. The funding drive for the monument began when former slave Charlotte Scott of Virginia gave $5 to her former master for the purpose of creating a memorial honoring Abraham Lincoln. The Western Sanitary Commission, a St. Louis-based volunteer agency, joined the effort and raised some $50,000 for the project. According to the National Park Service, the memorial was not the only effort of the time to build a monument to Lincoln, but was the only one soliciting contributions exclusively for those who had most benefited from Lincoln's act of emancipation. In the Natchez district, members of the U.S. Colored Troops contributed heavily to the memorial. W.C. Earls, Colonel of the 70 U.S. Colored Troops stationed at Rodney, notified John Davison, the commander of the Natchez district, that his company had raised $2,942.50. Earls noted that the men feel deeply that the debt of gratitude they owe is large, and anything they can do to keep his memory free will be done cheerfully and promptly. Davidson estimated that the total amount raised among the colored troops in Natchez was $16,242, almost one-third of the commission's $50,000 goal. Frederick Douglass gave a keynote speech at the dedication to an audience that included President Ulysses S. Grant. And this has been your Natchez History Minute. I am Betty Kay, co-chair of the Social Life and Ethnic Group of the Natchez Tricentennial and co-pastor of the Word of Faith Ambassadors Worship Center in Natchez, Mississippi.